were told that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF? This is a congruence statement, and we can use this statement to identify congruent angles and sides. Now, congruent angles are corresponding to one another. That means that they are in the same spot when labeling that triangle. So A and D are both the first letters when labeling these two congruent triangles. So they correspond to one another. So angle A is congruent to angle D. And we can put our little tick marks in those angles. And we can do the same for angle B and E, the middle letters in labeling our triangles. And the same for angle C and F, the last letters when labeling our two triangles. Now we're going to use that similar process to identify the corresponding sides. So side AB, side AB, which side is corresponding and congruent to AB? Well, AB is the first two letters in triangle ABC. So it corresponds to side DE, the first two letters in triangle DEF. So this means that these two sides are congruent. Now this is the same for side BC. BC is the second two letters, the middle and the last letter in triangle ABC. So BC corresponds to the second and third letter in triangle DEF. So BC is congruent to side EF. And then lastly, AC. AC is using the first and the last letter when labeling triangle ABC. So it corresponds, is, in, is congruent to the side that uses the first and last letter in triangle DEF, since those two triangles are congruent. So AC is congruent to side DF. Now let's look at a quick question and apply some of this information. Here we're given two triangles, ABC and triangle PQR, and we want to know if these two triangles are congruent. Now it's important that the letters in the triangles are written in such a way so that the corresponding sides and angles are also congruent in order for us to be able to say that these two triangles are congruent. So let's look at the corresponding sides in these triangles as they're written to see if they are actually congruent. So if we look at side AB, AB is 11.2. Is PQ also 11.2? No, it's 10.8. Hmm. So already this isn't working out. BC in QR, BC is 10.8 and QR is 11.2, so again, not working out. But the last two sides, AC and PR, those are both 10.5. So the side lengths are using the same numbers, 10.8 and 10.5 and 11.2, but the way this congruent statement is written, the way these two triangles are labeled is not correct, is not written in such a way as the corresponding sides would be congruent. So how can we rearrange these triangles and how they are labeled to write a true congruent statement? ABC is congruent to what triangle? So let's look at AB again. AB is 11.2. So AB is 11.2. What other side is 11.2? QR. Now we can write this as QR or RQ. Which way do we write it? A is in between 10.5 and 11.2. So 10.5 and 11.2 is this one right here. It's R. So we are going to go from that all the way to Q. Now let's continue and see if this works. QP is 10.8. QP, is that the same as the next two letters, BC? Yep, that's 10.8. And then PR is 10.5, and AC is also 10.5. 
So we can write a congruent statement for these two triangles, but we just have to rearrange the letters so that the corresponding sides are congruent. Because if you have three sets of corresponding sides that are congruent, you can conclude that those two triangles are congruent.